now we face the, the problem to have data. Which data do we need? We saw, for instance, that we are uh, estimating the hydrological budget where we have the storage delta S is equal to precipitations minus evapotranspiration minus um, the various sources of runoff um, minus maybe deep percolation so in principle we have to measure all these quantities uh, to measure precipitation uh, how can we measure precipitation? Me precipitation we can measure with um, ground station at the ground station with satellite and other quantities, other to uh, other instruments radar etc um, precipitation in principle can can also be forecasted by weather model but for us are in any way in external data so maybe we can add here also okay like this weather and climate models and so we get this done and then we have to do to measure evapotranspiration evapotranspiration is very difficult to measure but in principle, we have we we have ground station in particular towers where we measure, for instance, evapotranspiration transpiration for trees and so on. But usually here we have to resort to indir indirect. Measurement. We have also satellite data also here, satellite products, but the word products means that there are some modeling inside that uses actually the water budget equation that we have above. So this is remaining a little bit a question mark. How we can measure runoff? We can measure runoff if we capture the, the runoff. So uh, we have ground station Let's say gauge station called this station usually measure the water stage the water stage meaning the water level and uh, we have to um, to use some modeling to get discharge. Obviously, the runoff is uh, this is measured in torrents and, and rivers. And there are uh, 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 actually other 
other technologies that we can uh, talk maybe later. And we don't know for what, let's say that we have this, but, uh, yeah, okay, I am putting green, but uh, uh, I should use a different color, maybe orange here and partially orange here, meaning that we don't have full uh, access to, to this type of, of measurements. And uh, the flux in groundwater is uh, rarely, rarely measured. Rg. Actually, runoff can be also um, derived through models. All of them actually can be derived through models. As you see, if you, we are able to de determine the these four terms here and their components, then we get the storage. In other case, we can measure, try to measure the storage in water. How can we measure the storage? For instance, at large scale, by satellites, gravimetric satellite. In fact, when it rains, uh, what happens is that uh, the weight of the um, surface with water is more heavy and th that this can be detected as a change as a change in the in the in the gravity and there are some satellites that can measure it a at large scale in general as you see the situation is not very good we and um, we are not able to complete the, the, the uh, to to close the 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 budget the the water budget, even with local measurements. So we have to resort to modeling. Modeling. Complete. Uh, not complete, complete our ignorance means that <laughs> it's making maybe hmm, fill the gaps. But obviously mo modeling comes from many hypotheses on processes. And this is important to keep in mind. Obviously, if we are interested in the, um, in, in the water budget, we cannot also forget the energy budget where we have radiation. And we put a net radiation here minus evapotranspiration minus sensible heat. plus or minus precipitation, depending on the, on the, okay, let's say plus or minus uh, precipitation in, in any case, um, precipit in any case, we can add uh, all the, the mass movement. This more, more or less we can measure with the radiometer. With hey, we are in the situation that we depicted the depicted 
before. Uh, sensible heat is a transfer by by turbulence of uh, uh, heat, and therefore uh, it depends on the difference on temperature. In partially, we can measure temperature here, and then we can we derive we derive the rest from some modeling. And for precipitation, uh, the same. Okay. We put precipitation like this, meaning that which is precipitation measured in terms of energy. And um, uh, this goes to the, to the measurement of the water budget. If we measure the water budget, we know how to measure it. And this is obviously also for the energy budget then we have to resort to modeling so um, the motto of galileo galilei measure everything and make measurable what is not is really valid in hydrology. We have to measure everything and what we obviously we fill the gap with modeling but also modeling required measurement and uh, in a sense the situation is a little bit more complicated than that because uh, measures in, in themselves are also a type of modeling which is can, can be made through hardware instead than, than software but uh, except for um, very simple measurement where we we just compare things which is length or weights the rest the rest is a part of modeling so more or less this is the the thing with, uh, that we have to cope to one other uh, one, one, one other concept that has to be uh, faced is that uh, measure are local or are local or spatial so most of the time measurement are local so we have to do them spatial to extrapolate what we measure in a point or to other point and to this extrapolation is modeling again so we cannot we can we, we cannot avoid to do modeling we cannot really measure everything and uh, at the same time modeling and measuring must go together.